Um, determined, obsessive. Those are the two main things I would describe myself as. Energetic, obsessive, but also quite caring. I was 12 when I was diagnosed. I was always like the cute little blonde girl. I want to be viewed as someone who isn't cute, but they're grown up and mature because at that age you want to be a big girl, don't you? When my mummy had me in my tummy, she went to a doctor and she said, I think I'm pregnant and this is in the tummy. Yeah, but they said that a lot of families decide to terminate at this point, so. I said, what, now? <laughs> Six and a half months pregnant. So I said, well, let's let her decide that and see if she's going to survive, and she did. It was a bit scary. <laughs> mm. It's not now, though, is it? No. Nope. I really do wish I'd been diagnosed earlier. It would have just been an absolute weight off all our shoulders. Um, I would say that there is definitely a whole host of reasons that you could be short, or there actually could be a reason, like TS. To somebody that has just been diagnosed with Turner Syndrome, I would say it will become something that you learn to love about yourself and that you find makes you special. Being diagnosed with something as complex and so intricate as Turner Syndrome, no two girls are the same. So don't compare your journey to anybody else's. It's yours alone. I don't think Turner Syndrome defines me because I am so much more than that. I can't think of a single thing that has stopped me from doing. I don't see myself as being handicapped or disabled in the sense that I can't achieve what they can achieve. I am just me, and that's the most important thing. It's changed my life, and I wouldn't be who I am today without it. Actually, it's pretty amazing to have TS, and I'm part of this such a cool, exclusive group that you can only be in if you miss an X.